Hello Bonos, welcome to, back to part two of this World Cup and in the first game England probably trying to avenge the was it the 2002 Euro defeat at the hands of Romania where Kevin Cregan said, I can't remember what he said now but it was quite funny like there was no way England are going to go out or something and they conceded two late goals but um, England are the number one ranked team in the world, they won the Euro 2018 I think they came runners up in the last World Cup so you know they're there or thereabouts they only had one friendly in the build up to the tournament so there was no injuries luckily and I think Tumba scored in that game but there was a loss to South Korea um, so it'll be interesting to see how many of us are playing I think there's four of us in the squad so we'll crack on I'm hoping there's going to be a few of us starting Okay, so we've got a few of us starting. We've got Novak at left back, Aiden starting in the World Cup, and Stephen Hall's in front of him. Expect a lot of back passes to the keeper here. Under pressure, back to the keeper. And on the bench, we've got Tumba wearing the number 10. And one of the Pratts backing up. He's probably third choice. Didn't know you'd have to have three keepers on the bench in the World Cup. Okay, I've seen if I recognize. I recognize a couple of these uh, Romanian players. Yo, you should all know Gardos. All right, let's let's crack on. Ross Barkley and James Wilson to Jordan Henderson. Interesting. Raheem Sterling. He's very good in the game. He's good in real life, obviously. But Novak crosses it. Wilson with the header. Jordan Henderson. Sterling. Oh, keeper onto the post. I think that was James Wilson. Novak. They can't handle Novak. Those leadership skills. I forgot to check who was captain, actually. Hawes controlling that midfield to Ross Barkley. Sterling, back to Novak. Romania can't get out of their half here. Henderson, Stephen wants it for a long shot, but Barkley, greedy, turns and fires well wide. So six minutes in and England already dominating Sterling. He's got too much pace and trickery. Comes inside. No one's near him. Shoots. Oh, just wide. So England doing okay. I'm not sure where Romania are ranked in the world. But if you can beat the European opposition, they tend to be the toughest teams. Sterling coming inside again. Shoots just wide. But look at the stats. 20 minutes in now. That's the player ratings. I'll do the pitch view split. Look at that. 76% possession. 12 shots. England absolutely beasting it. It's only a matter of time before they get the breakthrough. Barkley back to Hawes with a long ranger. Hits, takes a deflection. So you got to see Hawes is just, just sitting there controlling the tempo. But he's always available for a long shot. Hawes again. Back to Corker. You to see Aiden touch the ball. Aiden playing last man. Corker in again. Probably is one of his heroes now at QPR. Sterling down the flank. Crosses it. Near post. Wilson shoots. Side netting. For 17 shots. If I was in the mate, I'd just get them off long range shooting. Be more patient. Wait for the chance to open. 20 shots. But you could see from the formation at the start, Romania were very deep. So yeah, I'd, I'd just be patient if I was England's uh, manager on the tactic. I wouldn't get go... Overexerting too much, the goal will come. Novak, very deep back, takes a good throw. One of the things he worked on. Back to Novak. Novak's getting a lot of film time, I've noticed. So slow, but they've obviously been patient now. They're not trying to force the ball. Sterling, Speedy Gonzalez, checks back, comes inside, chips it to the back post of the Ox, headers it, own goal. You take them, you don't matter how they go in. The Ox of a header tried to square it for James Wilson and it hit off, it might have been Gardos or Marinescu. So the Ox got acres of space, did the right thing, squaring it back. Oh, Gardos cleared it, it's so unfortunate, into the back of Marinescu. So, 48th minute at the 24th shot of asking. <laughs> it wasn't even an England shot on goal which went in. So Sterling's been absolutely amazing here, just looking at this, they can't handle him. Oh, long ranger, over. 
So, Henderson to Barkley. Phil Jones. It's going to take a very good team to beat England. Look at this. Aiden plays it into the Ox. The Ox cuts inside. And woeful, woeful shot that. 29 shots. Let's look at the player ratings. So despite absolutely dominating it, I'm not lying it up like the Irish boys, but you would expect just because they, when you get gold, they just boost your average rating up. What's this? Romania with a rare forry. Matai crosses to the back post. Oh, hits the woodwork and bounces clear. That was almost Ronaldinho Seaman-esque there. Looping over the keeper. Henderson with a good tackle. James Wilson. Does a good, good run. Good tackle in the end. Back to the keeper. Romania trying to be patient. Trying to just get a foothold on possession. But Phil Jones with a good, wins a good tackle. And again, Phil Jones wins it. Strong in the tackle. Hall spreads it out wide to Sterling. Great vision there. Didn't even have to look up. Sterling drives forward outside of the foot wide. So out of these 33 shots, I'm pretty sure Sterling's about 15 of them wide. So Aiden coming a bit forward. Doesn't get a nosebleed if he goes past this little circle bit. Stays back. Last line of defence. Sterling beats his marker again. Beats two. Goes around them. Chips it. Keeper saves it. Sterling with the corners as well. He's just the main man. You see Stephen in the penalty area. There's a lot of English players forward now. One luck with seven minutes to go. Probably Aiden's up on the last man. Well, Aiden's quite good in the air, so they might have sent him forward. Just don't know what Sterling was time wasting on the corner, I think. Oh, Romania just hoof it clear. So they've started to come back out on the possession front. England probably not pressing as much now, just letting them have the ball at the back. Ten minutes to go, though. You disappointed with 40 shots, only converting one of them. So into the final three minutes. England just have seen the game out. Haven't given up any chances. Aiden, doing the right thing, just plays it back to Corker. And that should you take a 1-0 win. With 48 shots, so at winning 1-0, you're only going to improve really on the shot conversion ratio. But like I said, if I was Mourinho or manager of England in this, because Mourinho is the manager, I'd take them off all long-range shots, just get them to be more patient. You probably would have had only 15 shots, but you probably would have won 4 or 5-0 because you wouldn't have wasted the possession and all these goal kicks and stuff like that. Um We'll see what the other score is in the game. It's been played later today. It's interesting. Arsenal have bid for Emre Can in the game. He's got, he's very good in the game. See, so counter attacking pays off for the Republic. The game is very slow. There's so much data going on because I've got so many leagues. There's a World Cup. So that South Korea beat the Ivory Coast. Two one. Is that is that England's group? I can't remember who else is in England. No, Japan are. Japan and someone else. So Ireland played the first day and England's group was the next day. So there's not going to be many other results to fill you in. When, when we get to the 16th and I update you on what's going on, all the first group rounds will have finished because of Ireland are in the host nations group. They play, they play first. This is why it's unfortunate for John didn't have more time because if Ireland were playing, say, in Group H, would have had an extra seven days and he meant he would have probably made the last group game. Whereas now, Ireland really need to get second round quarterfinals before John comes back into the fold. Okay, I'm just Brazil nil, New Zealand nil. That's a terrible result for Brazil, actually. Just... Didn't register. I was thinking Brazil and New Zealand aren't in England's group. Can't remember who the other team is. England, Japan. Did I say it was two South Americans? Is odd. Oh no, that's why oh, I said that for Ireland, but Costa Rica are Central America, aren't they? Or CONCACAF. Italy, three restaurants. So the other group game must have been played now. I'll have a look. 